Revolutionizing our gaze into the cosmos, the Euclid Space Telescope has shattered previous astronomical boundaries. But how does it stand out in an era of groundbreaking space telescopes like the James Webb? Stay tuned as we unravel the wonders of Euclid's groundbreaking images and their implications for our understanding of the universe. The recently unveiled full-color images from the newly launched Euclid Space Telescope have certainly lived up to expectations. Never before has a telescope demonstrated the capability to capture such incredibly sharp astronomical images spanning across an extensive portion of the sky and delving deep into the far reaches of the universe. These initial images serve as a testament to Euclid's remarkable ability to construct the most comprehensive 3D map of the cosmos to date. However, what sets the Euclid Space Telescope apart? How does it differentiate itself from the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope? Moreover, what makes these five images, captured by Euclid from the outer edges of the universe, so extraordinary? Let's delve into these questions one by one. Euclid Space Telescope's first triumph is the stunning capture of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster, located 240 million light-years away. This massive cluster contains about 1,000 galaxies, with an astonishing backdrop of over 100,000 more, many imaged for the first time. The light from these distant galaxies has traversed up to 10 billion years, offering astronomers a unique window into cosmic history. This imagery challenges astronomers to explore the role of dark matter in binding such clusters, where thousands of galaxies are gravitationally interconnected. Key to this investigation are the faint, elusive dwarf galaxies within Perseus, previously beyond the reach of imaging technologies. Euclid's advanced optics not only reveal these galaxies, but also the shape distortions caused by dark matter's gravitational influence. This insight, enhanced by weak lensing analysis, is crucial for understanding dark matter's impact on cosmic evolution. Examining this image further, we find that it encompasses at least 50,000 galaxies, offering a wealth of data that can be utilized for the intricate task of mapping the distribution of dark matter through the study of weak lensing. Euclid's Space Telescope brings into focus the spiral galaxy IC 342, hidden behind our Milky Way and located 11 million light-years from Earth. Utilizing its near-infrared capabilities, Euclid transcends the Milky Way's obscuring dust, allowing unprecedented insights into the formation and evolution of IC 342 stars and star clusters. This detail surpasses previous observations by the Hubble Space Telescope, offering a deeper understanding of spiral galaxies like our own. The telescope's imaging prowess is further showcased in the stunning capture of the Horsehead Nebula, approximately 1,375 light-years away. The nebula's iconic shape, influenced by the nearby star Sigma Orionis, reveals a dynamic interplay of light and shadow. This striking imagery aids in understanding star formation processes within the nebula. Sigma Orionis, part of a larger star cluster, has its stellar composition and dynamics further revealed by Euclid, showcasing the telescope's ability to identify new celestial bodies, including stars, brown dwarfs, and planetary mass objects. Next, Euclid impresses with its high-resolution image of the irregular galaxy NGC 6822, a mere 1.6 million light-years away and part of our local group, capturing detailed images in just an hour. Euclid highlights NGC 6822's low metallicity, a key trait providing insights into the early stages of galactic evolution. This galaxy's metal-poor nature is crucial for astrophysics, as it sheds light on the evolution of galaxies less chemically enriched and contrasts them with more developed ones like the Milky Way. Each of these Euclid images, from the detailed observation of IC 342, the illuminating view of the Horsehead Nebula, to the revealing capture of NGC 6822, not only demonstrates the telescope's advanced capabilities, but also enriches our understanding of the universe. They contribute significantly to our knowledge of galaxy formation, evolution, and the intricate processes governing celestial phenomena. Concluding this series of images is a portrayal of the second-closest globular cluster to Earth, NGC 6397. 
Globular clusters are among the universe's oldest structures, serving as repositories of vital information concerning the formation and development of host galaxies. The cores of globular clusters are luminous due to their high concentration of stars, which outshine the low-mass faint stars found at the cluster's periphery. These faint stars likely reside there as a result of past interactions with their host galaxy. Given that the faint stars hold a historical record of these interactions, it is imperative to measure their light. While the Hubble Space Telescope necessitates extended observation periods to image these fainter stars, and Gaia primarily tracks the trajectories of globular clusters without revealing much about the faint stars, Euclid's wide field of view empowers it to capture the entire globular cluster's image within a single hour of observation. The presence or absence of faint stars at the outer boundaries of globular clusters carry significant implications for our comprehension of the distribution of dark matter. Should there be an absence of tidal tails formed by faint stars, it might indicate that a dark matter halo is shielding these outer stars from escaping during interactions. Nevertheless, it's important to note that this scenario is deemed highly unlikely, as dark matter halos are typically associated with larger celestial structures like dwarf galaxies and full-fledged galaxies rather than the compact nature of globular clusters. The Euclid spacecraft is a collaborative project led by the European Space Agency, with valuable contributions from NASA. Its primary mission is a grand endeavor to construct a comprehensive three-dimensional map of the universe, incorporating time as the third dimension. This ambitious undertaking involves the observation of billions of galaxies, extending as far as 10 billion light-years away. The ultimate goal is to craft a comprehensive chart that vividly illustrates the cosmic evolution over the lifetime of the universe. Euclid's mission encompasses covering one-third of the celestial sphere to unveil the enigmatic realm of the dark universe, dominated by two mysterious entities, dark energy and dark matter. In the prevailing cosmological model, these two components together constitute a staggering 95% of the observable universe. Euclid's mission in the cosmic theater is to probe the dynamic universe, focusing on structural formation and expansion, and deepen our grasp of dark energy, dark matter, and gravity's fundamental nature. Central to this mission are crucial questions. What composes dark matter and dark energy? How did the cosmic web evolve? Is there truth to the Hubble tension regarding the universe's expansion rate? And does our understanding of gravity need revision? Distinguishing itself from the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, Euclid's unique scientific focus lies in studying dark energy and dark matter, unlike Webb's emphasis on the early universe. While Webb examines small sky sections in high resolution, Euclid conducts wide-field observations, covering vast sky areas efficiently. This approach allows Euclid to capture extensive sky images, offering numerous observational opportunities for Webb and other telescopes. Euclid's ability to survey a sky area 100 times larger than Webb's near-infrared camera, NIR Cam, highlights its significant contribution to expanding our cosmic knowledge. These captivating images captured by the Euclid Space Telescope not only showcase its remarkable technological capabilities, but also represent a significant leap forward in our quest to comprehend the universe, unravel its composition, and decipher its evolutionary history. Notably, the James Webb Space Telescope recently conducted a 10-hour observation of Jupiter's moon Europa, potentially uncovering evidence of life within its subsurface ocean. If you missed this exciting revelation, make sure to catch up on this fascinating discovery. What new mysteries and revelations about our universe do you think Euclid will uncover next? Feel free to express your thoughts and viewpoints, and be sure to join the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with lunar revelations and the forthcoming frontier of space exploration. Remember, as we venture into the universe, the sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning. Keep looking up.